Hi there, my name is Mark Thomas. I run the YouTube channel Mark Thomas Builder. So please come over there sometime and say hi. And I'm also one of the members of the 2022 Echo User Advisory Group. So today I have the privilege of showing you a couple different Echo brush trimmers. So this one right here is their latest, the biggest, baddest brush trimmer that they make. It's the SRM410U. And then over here we have the loop handle style brush trimmer. And this is the SRM 3020T. So my plan for this video is to focus on the U-style trimmer right here because I've only run this for a few months now and I have some fresh insights on it. But if you wanna see a great video comparing the U-handle to the D-handle or the loop handle, check out a video here on the Echomedians Business site. It's the pros and cons. This is done by Mr. Brad Bear of Copper Creek Cuts. He did an excellent job. So I recommend you check that out after watching this video. All right, so let's get into some video clips I have from earlier this summer featuring the U-handle, and then we'll also show the D-handle right here with a different tri-tip brush blade. So now let's take a look at the U-handle trimmer. All right, so a couple quick things to mention about the gear that I'm gonna put on. So this comes with it. This is a harness kit, a shoulder harness. So you really need this. If you don't have this, let me show you real quick. So if you were trying to run the trimmer by itself with no harness on it, it just kind of goes all over the place. So it does require a shoulder harness, and this has a clip right here that locks on and that gives you a nice pivot point that makes it really quite effortless. So this is the one that comes with the kit and then this goes on your hip right here and you can see this is where you latch the loop that's on the trimmer itself. So you can see right here you lift it up and that loop on the trimmer locks in place. So I believe I read somewhere that you can also get an upgraded version of this as well. So this one doesn't have any quick latches on it. So it's sometimes a little bit confusing, but you do put this on your back right there. And then slide that in. <laughs> All right, and then this part right here goes around your waist. I'm not sure, you probably put it on your right or left. All right, then when it comes to some other safety features, it's a good idea to have either some sunglasses or actually I prefer to wear this right here. This is my loggers helmet right here so it has the ear protection and it has the face protection because sometimes you run through the woods or walking through the woods you know and you just have some branches that could hit you in the face and it's nice as you're walking through to have that on and then putting on some gloves it's always a good idea all right so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna trim some of these weeds and then there's also a rotted stump somewhere over here we're gonna see what that looks like and try to mow that down too if you're used to using a line trimmer, that tends to fling stuff around. The nice thing with the brush trimmer is it just slices it and then it drops. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start this. And the first thing we're gonna do is take it off stop right there. Then we're gonna put it on choke because it's been at least a couple hours since we ran it. And the primer bulb right here, you press eight times. Now go ahead and pull it, and then as soon as it sputters, we'll take it off choke and pull it one more time. Oh, guess we didn't need to do that. There we go. And now all the weight is on my shoulders. And you just see how it pivots and balances really nice. And right here's a look at one of the weeds. You can see the stuff is pretty thick and stringy. So if you try to take a line trimmer to this, you would be there all day. So brush cutter works really good on things like this.
Okay, so there's one thing I wanna show you. So if you're going to transport this, the storage is relatively easy with this handle design right here. So you just unscrew that, no tools required. And then this right here will just pivot right there and you can tighten it down. All right, so it's gonna stick out some, but it's not gonna take up as much space if you're putting this like on your trailer or something like that. So you can put something else right next to it. All right, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna cut some of the sharp prickly stuff. I'm not sure they're called burberries. I forget the name of them. But anyways, you'll see what I'm talking about. So as I mentioned before, the nice thing with the brush blade is it just slices it nice and clean and it just drops. So if I try getting in here with my line trimmer, it might just start really slinging that stuff around. I'd probably end up with a bunch of scratches on my arm. The very first time that I ever used a U-handle style trimmer, I found it to be a bit of a challenge on some hills, but I'm noticing the more that I use it, like on this ditch right here, if you stand at the bottom of the ditch or work along the side of the hill, it definitely does a nice job. So you can just see, I can just quickly work along this ditch and clear it out. Then right here I have my other trimmer, the loop handle style, and I'm using an aftermarket tri-tip blade, and you'll see it definitely works well in these weeds right here but it can if it grabs the ground you really have to make sure you're holding on tight because it will definitely pull that trimmer along so just be careful when using it so one of the things i noticed after running the trimmer is the u-handle has a harness system it has a hip pad it's a little bit more involved and i wish that it actually had a buckle snap like this it doesn't have that so on the loop handle it's a little more simple and I just wear a little more loose so I can move the trimmer away from me a little bit. It makes it easier to use. But overall, I'd say both the harnesses work well. If you're interested in seeing my video review on the Echo 3020T, I have that on my Mark Thomas Builder channel. So if you want to check that out. Otherwise, there's some other great information at the echomeansbusiness.com website. There you can talk with some other green industry pros, landscapers, lawn care professionals, and arborists. And there you can join in on some forums and join a community where you can ask some questions or help contribute to some conversations. So if you enjoyed this video, please help support the channel by giving it a thumbs up. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.